Hi, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Make Believe by Mosey. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but I'm actually gonna be giving you some keys to customize this sound. To just have the tone that you want. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of four products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can see, the sound is separated into two layers. We have the main tonal layer, and then a noise layer. And then both go into this processing. And then here I just have the break. So, let's construct the first layer and then the second layer. Okay, so here I have initially patch, and we're gonna be using sine waves on both oscillators. We're gonna be adding some noise here. And then we're gonna be changing the harmonics on oscillator B. We're gonna be adding harmonic number five and seven. Sounds a little bit dissonant, but these are the actual harmonics we're gonna be using. So this is the sound that you should be getting. Actually, sorry, I was playing D. You're supposed to play C sharp. So there you go, C sharp. That's the sound you should be getting. And then we're gonna go ahead and boost the level of oscillator A and bring the level of B down to 15. So this is the sub is double of this. Now we go into the effects tab and we're gonna turn on the distortion and boost the drive. So as you can hear, these harmonics are added because the moment the distortion comes in, they give the tone of the original sound. And the way I got those harmonics was just taking a look at the EQ of the original track and seeing, okay, what are the resonant spots here? And then recreating those. Now, once we add the multiband compressor, we're gonna get the noise out, the sub and the distortion. And this is 80% of the sound right here. Now let's go for that last 20%. Now, if you want to make your own sound, I recommend you to get your own harmonics. As you can see. So in this case, it's five and seven. Now let's go for the post-processing. And so here the post-processing is very simple. I just boosted the lows and a specific harmonic which is this one. And when I was making this, I realized that the noise was not strong enough, right? But the, the tone was kind of getting there. So I decided I'm just gonna keep the harmonics as the strongest part. I boosted this and this. And then the only thing I did, actually I didn't do a lot here in, in, in Trash. Looks like I, I didn't even do anything. So let's just take that away. Uh, maybe I was trying some uh, saturation before adding the noise, but let me show you what the noise layer is. It's this same preset, which I decided to call cool riff. Oh my God. <laughs> so we can see it's the same, it's the same preset. So we can see there's like the same harmonics, but the distortion is very heavy. So we can see I added the same harmonics, five and seven. I added even more noise, kept the levels the same. I filtered the noise a little bit so it stays away from the sub here. As you can see, I panned it to the left for some reason. I should have not done that. There you go. And then distorted this a lot. And so that gives us a lot of noise. So the, the, the thing left is just to EQ this, I even boosted the highs more. Um, 
and we have the same trash actually doing even more saturation and then finally just high passing all of this so we have a very very aggressive self now and that was it i just layered this with the main sound and then at the end i just grouped everything boosted this up boosted this harmonic added a notch here in the mids to separate this from the noise and then added the wider bass rack that i always show in all of these videos and again it's just a drive signal and for the stereo signal i just have chorus a frequency shifter a yeoman so let me just here yeoman is a preset from ableton sounds really cool then frequency shifted this up to get it a little bit out of tune added some chorus make made it super wide and then high passed everything actually i should have high passed this even more there you go so that can be on the stereo and then this is just a vocoder with the noise mode it's just the original patch going into a vocoder noise enhance we have this type of shape boosted the formant and then high past everything and then layer that and that's the sound now to change the harmonic of the sound the only thing you have to do is to change this beat and that's it that's how you make this space And there you go. That's how you make basses like the ones in the track Make Believe by Mosey. So if you like this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.